I'd like to thank my patrons, and I'd like to thank uh, Amsoil, along with Watson Synthetics and the Dirty Mountain Goats, for sending me $3,000 worth of synthetic oils. So now, if I bend myself over and get lost out here, at least I'm fully lubed. A motorcycle is whatever you want to make it. Turn it on, you can give yourself a real thrill. choke on or something. Yep. Beautiful December day here in Idaho. It's December 10th. And it's looking like it's a little bit gnarly up here. Luckily I have my wheel set on that is a little bit less used. So my front tire is a better front tire. That's the main thing. It's got sharper edges on it. Just gonna talk to you guys about if dirt biking is a good family sport. That really depends on if you want to put in the effort and the dedication to be able to ride a dirt bike. I will say that it's a superior form of transportation that can get you where no other vehicle is capable of getting you. The exception is when you're on extremely slick surfaces like I'm on right now, where drive is the only factor, then you would be better off with something else probably, like when you're on a road like this, but all other scenarios, a bike can get you pretty much most places that you can hike to, you can get to on a bike if you're good enough. Now on the flip side of that, you can't just hop on a bike and go. So it takes a lot of dedication. Um, like a four wheel or a razor or something like that, you can just hop in and uh, push the button and go. Whereas a bike, you really, there's a trial by fire period of about at least a year where you're gonna have to crash, crash and burn and learn. And it's taken me a long, long time. What really gets you on a bike is these ruts. Once you get into a rut, takes a lot of balance. So as a family, if you start riding dirt bikes, you're gonna have to go through that trial by fire and it's not an easy process. And I think if I had to guess, a lot of people are choosing to go a different route because they don't want to go through the pain of learning how to ride a dirt bike with that. Don't, don't think I'm bashing on razors or four-wheelers, but um, those are a better option for people who are not wanting to go through this trial by fire. It's a very skilled sport. You can't not be skilled. You go to the races and even the, the beginner class is a skilled class. They've been riding for a year or two. The way you throw your weight means a lot when you're riding a dirt bike. If you start to feel the bike slide, you have to throw your weight. Sometimes you throw a leg out to counterweight the bike around the corner. You have to shift your weight back in order to grab traction going up hills. And it's a balance between shifting your weight back and being in the middle of the bike because it's so steep sometimes you don't want to flip over so you have to shift your weight forward a little bit and then the clutch work and shifting it's all manual 
You can get auto clutches on these bikes, which I think is kind of cheating. Especially if you're comp doing competition, it's cheating in my opinion. I've been moving houses, so that's why I haven't done a video. I've been off the bike quite a bit. Um, I broke a lower rib and also tore my cartilage, the false ribs underneath that lower rib. I tore all those. And I also landed on my elbow at the same time. Ah. So I've been taking it easy just, you know, just taking it easy out here, riding in the, riding in the ice and snow out here. You know, only in conditions where I won't crash. Super safe. His name is Racer Red. If he wasn't riding, he'd be in bed. He naps during the day. He rides his love in garage bays. Oh, he rides all night, full throttle all the time. Oh, he was born to ride. Red Racer, like, comment, and subscribe.